there's this new um, conservative instinct to apologize for being right because the left doesn't like our tone. And I think it's ridiculous. They don't do it, and we shouldn't do it anymore. And as an Albertan, frankly, um, I'm facing a carbon tax. I really don't care if um, Derek's tone was a little bit off. Derek is the – he was – the director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. He's the guy, as an Albertan, I want fighting for me against this carbon tax. Yeah. You know what? We're fans of Brian Jean here at the station. I mean, yeah. we, we mm -hmm. like the fact that he stepped in to pick up the wreckage after Danielle Smith tried to scuttle the Wild Rose. We like how well he campaigned in the last election. Uh, we like how well he's been doing in the Fort McMurray wildfires, sure. keeping his wits about him and actually helping as opposed to just doing photo ops like Justin Trudeau or Rachel Notley. So I don't understand that. I, I suspect there may be some something going on behind the scenes. Perhaps Brian Jean is worried about a leadership challenge from Derek Fildebrand, who himself clearly has uh, you know high ambitions. If that's the fact, well, let's deal with it on that basis. But using some social justice warrior politically correct triggering as an excuse to, to sack Fildebrand it's wrong. It, it encourages the enemies of Alberta, and it right. demoralizes the friends. And frankly, as an Albertan, I don't care about the internal politics. I care about the Wild Rose looking like a government in waiting and doing exactly what we've asked them to do by holding this government to account. If there's internal stuff, you deal with it internally, and you don't take away our best weapon, which is Derek Fildebrand, against Bill 20, the carbon tax. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.